What's up, guys? I'm a little green today, aren't I? Let you guys jump in the live chat here. Um, out working today. Oh, that's right. I do that every day. How many out there in the audience works every day and gets no credit for it at all? Or even better, you work every day and then gang stalkers like turd gorilla say, get a job, because... Let's, let's count up the hours it takes for turd gorilla. The hours he spends all day long on the interweb. It's got to be 24 hours. It, it, it has to be 24 hours a day he spends on the internet attacking people. And you know the worst part is he find he has found a an already attacked victims of the United States Communist Party. He also he he, he and he and then he then he has to tag us in everything he does. As if I mean I mean oh he's just beg he's begging for attention and you know that I know that. This is what we're doing. We're getting ready to camouflage the old golf cart. Um, I put a solenoid on it today. Uh, right now I'm camo and I'm getting ready to put the camo to it. But put the solenoid on it today and uh, got it running. Actually, it runs really good. Just about to blow it up. I didn't put any mixed fuel in it. We was riding around and I was like, man, it quit smoking. And then I was like, it quit smoking. Problem. Danger, Will Robertson, danger. So, um, yeah, we got that done. Um, I put a lawnmower battery in it, and that didn't, it's just not holding a charge. I hope the stator's not going on this thing, or well, the generator. The generator's gone, that'd be more money. The guy, when I bought it from, he jumped it off of one of those cheap jumper boxes, and I think that he fried a lot out, because he fried out the solenoid, so I had to put a solenoid on it, which sucks. Um, oh, it is what it is. Anybody in here yet? Let me know when you come in. What a nasty day it is today. It has rained uh, about all night long, and then it was real nasty earlier today. And, and thanks to my lovely neighbors, the illegal immigrants, there's not a dry place around to... I mean, no, I can't even piss in my backyard anymore. And I hate that. I don't like to leave any place that I can't piss, piss off the back porch. Uh, I just realized we were out of barbecue sauce, so I had to go in there and make barbecue sauce. You make barbecue sauce? Yes, if I have to make my own sauce, I make my own barbecue sauce. But as you see, we've got this feathered out really good. Uh, we'll put the first bit on it first. The first bit of um, camo. I'm not going to prime it. I don't care. I'm just playing. A million other things that I need to be doing. Um, I got a guy that's supposed to be coming and looking at my dock floats Friday. Hopefully he'll come Saturday. So I gotta go and meet him to show him those. John Deere still for sale. Anybody in the chat yet? Because if I'm gonna talk myself, I'll do that with both hands and I can just do nothing. But yeah, I put the uh, lawnmower battery in it, put a new solenoid on it. Uh, but it doesn't seem to be wanting to charge. Let me see. Uh-oh, it's going to crank. I just ain't got enough juice to hit that final hump of compression. Anybody in here yet? Mason actually spent a little time with me today. I guess because his mommy ain't here. So, <laughs> I think it's cool, ain't it? Cool golf cart. Anybody in the chat yet? My face is finally healing. It hurt. It is a knot right there of scar tissue. Or I snapped it. It sucks. It hurts. Um, I remembered that I had the camo. If you guys remember, I had that big old, big old roll of camo print. It's like insulation, this stuff right here. I had a big roll of that. I've got it um, in another property. And I think what I'm going to do is I cut down the backboard. I cut this backboard down. Cut, cut six inches off of it. Anyway. I'm gonna take this camo print, this stuff right here, and I'm gonna cover that seat with it and in the back of it, cause I'm going to camo this whole thing. I don't want anybody to be able to see it. So that'd be cool. Camouflage it and then uh, I could hide in it. I wouldn't mind doing a lift kit on it. Um, and I may, cause all you gotta do is, that's the leaf spring right there. So all I'd have to do is just put a block right in there and then on the other side, just psh, do a body lift. 
It's not going to help with the suspension. Hope all's well. What's up, boss man? Um, but yeah, I had to take the wheel off so I can get this dent. I knocked a bunch of that dent out. It's still a little rough, but thankfully, when you do camo, camo hides dents. You can't see dents once you do camo. So uh, that's cool. That'd be good. Um, I'll have to drill that right there in. Sheet metal screw that in. But, um, you know, for 300 bucks, because if you need to go price golf course, they are expensive. I, I didn't know. I mean, I've seen them. I look online and they're anywhere from, I mean, old junk ones are like, I saw one on there today for 450. They said they were driving it and it just stopped. 450 bucks. I don't have that kind of money. All my money's tied up right here and here. I mean, this right here, this is 1200 and 600. That's $1,800 I got wrapped up right here. So I can't, I can't spend that money. And I've got that little thing right there. That was a freebie. That's a 150 scooter. I may get that running and cut all the dang, cut all the junk off of it, cut all the, the metal off, and just make a dirt bike out of it. 150cc dirt bike, that, that thing's got more power than this does, which is pretty cool. You're going to keep the golf cart after you fix it? Yeah, I'm probably going to keep it. Um, yeah, probably going to keep it. Uh, let my, take it to my relative's property, put it over there. If I want to use it, then I can use it. Plus, if if I'd ever be lucky enough to get a piece of private land, I can get on a golf cart and ride it. Because, I mean, these things right here, they're not as agile as a four-wheeler, but they, they really go. And they're quiet, um, easy to ride, and ain't no, difficult, no difficulty about it. So, um, yeah, I think I'll be keeping that one. 300 bucks, and then once I camo it, I mean, it's going to be worth two grand by the time I get through with it. And, and Mossy Man, you know the trolls, you know, what's well, push junk? You never sell it. Just like the people who always who said that junk about my, I mean, what, what all didn't they criticize that I had? They said, oh, yeah, I can't sell the Chevy truck. They said that was junk and I sold it. They said the Cadillac ain't even worth nothing and I sold it. I mean, you know, these gang stalkers just always bumper their guns, but they never have anything good to say. No, nothing worth listening to at least. Yippee ki yay. Um, honey, you know what I do with my chamois? Huh? The chamois, do you know what I do with it? I don't know what that is. It's that cloth it's that, that, that sucks cloth up water. That sucks up the water. Oh, no. It was out here, and, and it's disappeared. Just kind of like my jumper cables that disappeared out of your car and out of my car. Just disappeared. Just disappeared. That's great. Huh? It shouldn't be. Look around that back porch, and look at look go look around that toolbox, son. It should be in a yellow container, in a yellow tube. Yellow tube. Okay. Yeah, it's the clear. The top of it's clear, but it's just. I'm gonna get this thing dry so I can go to. What's up, Miss Mr. Carroll? Um, but yeah, a lot to do. I've got a guy coming Friday to look at my floats, and I've still got all these. I'm still contemplating what to do with these. I may take those out to the property too um, and see what I can do with them, see what I can make up. See what I can come up with. I know this picture's here. Where's that guy right here? Everything kind of feels weird in the world, don't it? Listen, everybody needs to get ready. They're not they're not gonna let this election happen. I just had it last month when when the freezer guy came to defrost the freezer, I used it to dry out the freezer. What? So I got a whole thing of it over there and that put it with that other one. You shouldn't be out here with your socks and with your mother's socks on. Pink socks, son. Are you still making a video? Yes, I'm still videoing. Um, let me see if I can that gun, it, everything of mine just disappears. It should just be. It should just be here. Like everything else, it just disappears, doesn't it? Everything just disappears. That's a thirty-dollar chamois, and I've only used it twice. That's not even talking about the the old one that I've got out in the building. 
Gang stalking 101. Stuff just disappears. <sighs> so disheartening to have something. And then, I mean, literally, my good set of jumper cables in the back of Tina's car. We used them last week to jump my daughter's car off. Gone. So I came to my Ranger to look for it because I always keep it set in my Ranger. Gone. Looked in my Bronco just in case because I know I had it in my Ranger. Nothing. So two pair of jumper cables just disappeared from my home. That gun when I left my straps out in the rain. Not good. I've got so much to do and I don't have time to get anything done. Not really time, just no time to, but the season hasn't even started out and I can't focus. I can't. I told you guys that Happy Camper um, Magnesium is the best, but now they make it work. They put it in a pill form um, and it just doesn't, it just leaves me more dizzy. Not really dizzy, but just, um, What's the best way to describe it? I just don't, I don't. I'm not confused, not jittery. I don't, I don't know what the term I could use, but it isn't. It doesn't give my thought back like the magnesium does. Um, of course, you guys, if you're targeted, you, of course, hear from um, the, the perp himself, Turd Gorilla. Just imagine He's got nothing to do all day long but target targeted individuals. That's astonishing to me. Nothing to do except harass people. So he's got every targeted individual that he knows listed so he can attack them. How bizarre. How bizarre. But he tagged me in something about, I don't know, something perverse about me having sex with a deer or something. I don't know. Uh, turkey season is here, by the way. Another two days starts on the 13th. Turkey season starts on the 13th. And guess who is not ready or prepared? I am not ready, nor am I prepared at all. That sucks. Two of my Kind of spaced out. That's my feeling. Kind of spaced out. I've been trying my best to stay as focused on the Lord as I can. Um, it's just so amazing that I can't even focus on praying to God. Like they're, they, they've they got my thoughts so locked in. Let me see here. The new tactic is they bring their kids to work dressed like the person they want to replace. It happened to my friend and he was so freaked out. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen the chick. She's, I can't, I can't remember her name, um, but she's from Canada and she's a recent targeted individual. I think the videos go back maybe, they might go back a year, but she posts like every couple days. Um, I kind of reached out to her to try to help her a little bit. But she seems very inquisitive about what's going on. Um, let me tell everybody this from the bottom of my heart. I love you. The worst thing you can do as a targeted individual is have a YouTube channel. Once you bring that on your life, these people, it's like a competition to see who can wreck the person the most. YouTube has done nothing but hurt my life. It's done nothing. I'm, besides the good people that I've met, it has done nothing to help. Um, nothing to benefit whatsoever. Well, that sucks. Both of my chamois are just gone. Just disappeared. And, and this is where I waste my time. This is how I get. This is how I get nothing done. Is I'll just start walking around looking for stuff, and then it's never there. Just walking around aimlessly, and can't find a thing. Like right now, I'm supposed to. I should be painting that. All I need is my chamois. I could have already had it dry, and I would have already got the first coat of paint, so I'd come back over and do another coat. But here I am. Both my chamois have just completely disappeared. The brand spanky new one, which is like thirty bucks, just gone. Don't mind me. I'm gone. Right here, shit pistons. How big that piston is? 
That's the piston out of my, out of the first hot rod engine I built for my Harley. It's a 98 cubic inch, no 97. I built a 97 inch axe tail kit. Um, when my first heard it soft tail. That thing was a hot rod. Until gang stalkers um, leaned out my carburetor and I blew it up. Yeah, parked somewhere. It was running fine, parked somewhere, put gas in it, come back out. Went down the road and shoop, seized it up. Had to put, had to call my pop to come get me in my Chevy van. And then we put it in the back Chevy van, me and my fiance that they murdered. Put the, had to put the bike in the back of the Chevy van, go all the way to the beach. I said, I, you ain't gonna stop me. That's before I even knew I, I was targeted. Um, you like to think as a target that, that things are just kind of level off. And they do, they just kind of get, they just kind of level off. But what I, what I know without a doubt in my mind that God above is watching, and he, he loves his people. But look, somebody tried to knock a hole in my tire. Look at that. See it? Somebody jabbed it with something. That ain't normal. Um, but if you stay negative, and you're always searching for things to be wrong, you literally attract a negative from this evil world. You suck up all that negative energy. If you're a targeted individual right now and you're and you're suffering, ask yourself, why are they so intent on blocking out the sun? Ask yourself, why are they so intent on taking away daylight? Daylight is life to us, to humans. We have to have daylight. We have to have it, just not for vitamin D, but we have to have it. Because that's God's promise that he will keep us warm and that he will take care of us. For all these people, death, doom, and gloom, oh, the earth's going to die from climate change. The earth's going to be destroyed. But don't, don't, you, don't you worry one, one thing about it. God's going to destroy it in his own time. Uh, climate change ain't real. It ain't happening. The climate's always changing. But just know you need to get out in the sun. And I keep telling my daughter that because she's, I think she's being, I think they're trying her, their best to, to wipe her out. Um, so I told her, honey, get the blinds open, get out in the sun, get out in the sun, get out in the sun, stay away from electronics as much as you can. Uh, just like that new baby, they have to have a lot of electronics for all the monitors, the oxygen, um, everything, like I said, monitoring her. And I said, listen, don't get him near that. She always wants to, you know, do video calls with me so I can see him. I'm like, honey, no, no, to get the phone away from him. This is, this technology is dangerous. Even the makers, I mean, the UK has outlawed and banned Apple phones. Did you know that? A lot of the Apple phones are not allowed in Great Britain. Why? Because the amount of radiation is not acceptable. So they test everything here in America. They poison us. We, we probably have the highest cancer rates in the world. Why? Because they poison us. Yeah. Let me see this. I found out that at least two of my stalkers are on meds for schizophrenia. I believe most of them have personality disorders. Who else would volunteer for it? And... This is what people don't understand. These people, and I've told you many times, I'm willing the first to say it, that these mass casualty events are from people that are, and, and listen, you can't really say they have personality disorders or schizophrenia, but they're using the same weapon on these people, telling them in their minds that we are the enemy. So they can off us and then off themselves. Got to put it all together. I've been in so many situations where they wanted me to react and, and hurt someone or, you know, I, I would not doubt not one bit that they don't amp me up when law enforcement pulls me over because they want them to kill me. Best way to get somebody killed is have somebody else do it. That's a, it's the best murder program in the world is have someone else, have a patsy do it. Like these school, um, these school artists, they just put something in their head and next thing you know, oh, well, it was perfectly normal, uh, but then he took the $9,000 out of the bank that he made working part-time at Taco Bell and decided to run up in a school and for uh, 73 minutes, the cops stood outside while that poor guy was, that crazy kid, that crazy mean kid went in the school and offed all those little children. <laughs> that makes perfect sense, doesn't it? Of course it makes sense. I'm really mad that I can't even, I can't do nothing. I, I just completely worked myself out of a job here. See, this is my life. I can't ever get anything done. 
something's always missing. There's always a tool missing. There's always something out of place or something tore up or something broke. Uh, this thing had gas in it. I mean, makes we're riding it down the road and boom, it just dies. I'm like, what the heck? So I hooked the chain to it, drug it up back up here. And I'm like, well, there's no gas. I was like, where in the world did the gas go? Just disappeared. I'm going to tell you, wipe this down. I need some ammonia, but I don't have it. The good thing about... The good thing about camouflage is it hides a lot. He hides it all. I don't really want to paint much of it back here because I don't want the overspray hitting my Bronco. Any other questions, guys? I know this is just an impromptu live stream. Um, it is what it is. Anyway, I just wanted to update you guys on what's going on. But everybody, listen, just pray. Everybody pray for Turd Gorilla. Um, have you ever seen a lonelier person in your life? The extent, I mean, there are trolls, but he's beyond troll. The extent that he goes through to try to find every targeted individual online and attack them, break them down. Um, and, you know, where do, where do the terms of service come in at YouTube for, for bullies? I don't understand. Um, I don't know if you guys heard, but Alex Jones, is a, a guy did an undercover recording. And he recorded a former CIA agent who was paid to take down, and they said, we're going to take down Alex Jones. We're going to cut him off at the knees. What that means, they took away his finances. They took away every bank that he dealt with. Does that sound familiar, targeted individuals? They took away all his banks. They took away to, to try to defeat him and, and try to stop his... Um, all his viewers from hearing him. So this is undercover. And, and finally, Alec Jones was like, well, that's great. And then like, they confirmed that 20 FBI agents were at the Capitol on January 6th. Well, only 20? And now those FBI agents have graduated and moved up to the CIA. And the CIA was created, the mandate was they're not allowed to use any of what they do. They can't operate in the United States. And we're under a coup. They're already, they're already after us. It's already over. They always invite me to cocktail parties. She's not doing what I have to be. You mean you, got, you, get, you get invited places, Carol? <laughs> I don't even know what that's like. Nobody calls me, invites me anywhere. I mean, my kids do. Hey, Dad, will you come over here and fix this? Hey, Dad, will you come over here and do that? I mean, they they're, they're my kids, so I don't mind as far as that goes. First scoop going on. See, I can't even, my shoulder is so done. I can't even shake the thing with paint. I gotta get this thing running. I've got it running, but it will not run without an air filter on it. So I gotta buy an air filter. It's a setup, yeah, everything's a setup. They're gonna, ain't nothing we can do except hold on for dear life, you know what I mean? Oh, I can't even shake it. Shake it up. Never stop. Oh. just feel like I'm stuck here. I mean, that whole back now, it's all clear. You can see clear over the same street. Some, somebody walk right through my yard, take anything they want, turn around and walk out again. Everywhere I look, illegal aliens. They bought up everything. Illegal, 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 illegal. They own everything. Everywhere I go, new houses, they're ripping down, they're tearing woods up. I mean, it's literally an invasion. They've got enough They've cleared enough land in North Carolina for 10 billion people. There will be no more. There will be no more farms. There will be no trees. There will no, be no more wooded areas. It's all over. And that's why I love North Carolina because it's North Carolina. If you've never been here, it's a beautiful state. Here comes the plane, of course. Look at that. Brand new can of paint. Brand new can of paint. I've got the last four or five cans of paint every time brand new never been used does work brand new they do this to be every time they kill all these trump is running for president it don't matter he won last time and they didn't let him in what makes you think they're gonna let him in again look brand new can of paint look i mean it's full to the brim it won't even work
Okay, we'll try two more things. Brand new cans of paint. We're the remnants who haven't been initiated into a cult. They want 100% participation. Yeah. Uh, one guy commented last week, and, and, and I appreciate his comment. But these people keep saying, we're the 144,000. We're the 144. No, we're not. We're not the 144,000. No. Those people are perfect and sinless virgins. I ain't no virgin. I mean, I practically should be as long as it's been since I've partaken in sugars. Look at that. Second can of paint. Second can. No, we're not. We are not the 144,000. Read the Bible. It says that they were spotless. They were sinless. We are not the 144. Look, second can of brand new paint. Nothing. Doesn't work. Doesn't work. Second can of paint. Brand new. Never been opened. Doesn't work. Third can. Brand new can. My buddy bought these and gave them to me. Oh my gosh, mmm, that shot a nerve all the way up my, oh, mmm, gosh, that is bad. I have no strength in my arm now. I just pinched a nerve so bad. Wow, that's, ah, ah, oh man, I just tore something in my elbow. And there with the lid. Let's see if this will work. Look. Third can. Brand new can. Doesn't work. Third one. Doesn't work. Wow. It works. Of course. Ow. Gosh! Well, I messed my arm up now. It's bad. I have pulled, I pulled a tendon or something in it. Mmm. Right, right in there. It pulled a dang muscle. Just. Ah. Mm. Oh gosh, that hurts so bad. Let's get old stuff. Ain't all. It's cracked up to be. I'm, I'm sorry, Victor. I, I love you, buddy, but we are not the 144. Reading the Bible, it talks about the 144,000. We're not it. We are not the tribe of Judah. Which we're us. Wish it was. Wish it was. So you lay a coat of this down for your base. Hopefully the, damn, the wind goes all that way. I don't want it to go near my truck. I use this as a primer. And then I'll come back over this in camo and start bleaching it all in. This is not how I ordinarily paint, so don't judge me on it. I do not normally paint like this with spray bomb at all. This thing really doesn't matter. I'm just trying to coat it. I'll have to get this mess off here somehow. See, it's starting to wrinkle, which is fine. Anybody got questions, comments? You want to criticize what I'm doing? There's always somebody wanting to say something negative. That right there wouldn't look bad if I'd got a little mud to put on it. Look, this thing's got green on it already. The green will ble bleach in, will blend in for camo. I wish I could take this right here off. Look at there, I can take it off. Yay, now I can paint it. Hey, honey. What, what honey? Um, tenderloin about 20 minutes. Why? I'm just wondering. You're hungry? Will you cook something else? Well, 
that's why I was wondering how long. Canned stuff. We got sweet potatoes. I should have put them on there. They, they need to be cooked soon. But yeah, that tenderloin's been in there. I had to make the own barbecue sauce because we don't have any barbecue sauce. Oh, so Okay, okay. All right, well, hurt. Yeah, brown sugar's in the cabinet. That'll work, honey. Thank you. It's amazing how good we can get along when she talks to me. Weird. Isn't that strange? For eight years, there's no communication, and all she had to do was talk to me. Um, I want to take that off, but I can't. I'll have to drill out the rivets, and I don't have more rivets to cover it up with. Yeah. Ow! Always do your... Always do your tan for your base. Always, and then come back in and then do your greens, do your other colors uh, before you do any other color with camo. My buddy Brad does camo really, really good. Um, I'm practicing. I used to hate camo. I hated camo. I never wore camo when I was a kid. I hated camo, I hated it. I was like, man, that's stupid. Uh, and then I started hunting. I like to bring, have my own line of clothing because I would like to have blue jean pants. Think about this, cargo plant, cargo pants that are blue jeans with pockets, you know what I mean? Because now since I wear these camouflage pants, I got pockets everywhere. So I can start something here, here, here. Uh, let's see here. Karen said, our Rabbi Yair David, David Lee will show you which tribe you are descended from. I come from Isakar and have been targeted since birth. And see, I think I've been targeted since birth too because a lot of weird things happen. And somebody asked me about my blood type. My daughter's RH negative, so more than likely I'm RH as well. Um, I don't know. I don't know. But I do think it's something. You remember in the old times of kings and queens? I want to kill his entire family line. I don't want another human alive with that person's genes that makes sense it makes sense you know it does make sense man i want to take that off i may just go ahead and paint it and then take it off later take it off later yep we'll just paint it take it off later this ain't no show pony his second coat, his first coat is just to cover it, just so I got a base. Ain't nobody else restoring a golf cart today, are they? See, that's what gets me, is everybody that attacks me online. You're lazy, you don't get a job, blah, blah, blah. I mean, what kind of sheep you have to be to, to live like that, to think that you have to hit a punch a clock, and that means you've got a job. It's, it's bizarre to me. Everything's bizarre. Now we'll fill in a little bit of green areas. I could have left a lot of that on there. That actually smoothed out really well. For what it is, I'll give you a dang... Oh my... Oh, I really messed my arm up. Bad. I, pissed, I pulled a nerve or something. Yeah, that ain't bad. I mean, that was a bad dent. I at least got it up. But yeah, that's good enough. I got to do the whole thing. I still got to sand everything, but I don't know if that's that grippy stuff. Yeah, that's that grip tape. I'll have to I'll have to heat that up to get it off, and then I've got to I'll have to get my um hot hot air gun to get that off. But yeah, man, we rode this thing today and it ran great. It did good when I had gas in it. I guess what I have to do is take the nozzle off of this thing. Let me try that. Let me take the nozzle off and put it on this other can and see if it works. Because gang soccer's wheel. Look at that. Now this can. This can works and I didn't even take. I did, this is the nozzle that I had. Is this the same can I was just using? No. It's not. Different can. Read the articles that proves RH negative is the Lost Tribes. If you are German descent, you're probably from Judah. Uh, well, my name is Townsend. Uh, Townsend. And from what I looked up on the genealogical stuff, that I'm from the 
end of town in England. The end of town, town's end. But bizarre, I know, strange. See, my buddy, he does all kinds of straps and stuff. He's got, he's actually, he has stencils. He has stencils that you can do leaves and stuff with. I ain't doing this. I may get them stencils. That does leaves. I'm actually going to do my Ford Ranger too one of these days. I don't have the money to fix it up and do what I want to do with it. But I'm going to do my Ford Ranger one of these days. Let me see what color this is. This may be a brown as well. See, still don't work. I'll take the lid out of that one, put it on this, and see what happens. That's the color I just had in it. Let me go over to the green. If you guys are as bored as me watching me paint, you must be bored. You must be bored to watch me paint. Once they say you said bored, you watch paint dry. <laughs> Just checking in. This is a golf cart. Yes, yeah, Steve. This is a golf cart. This is a two, two stroke. God, I really messed my arm up. Two stroke easy go. It's a uh, probably 80s, but it's uh, it's got a big board kit. It's gas, gas of course. Two stroke. Good to see you, Steve. But 300 bucks, you can't go wrong with golf cart for 300 bucks. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut the back. I've got a, I got a, uh, a lawnmower trailer like they sell it. It's a Craftsman lawnmower trailer. It's got a tilt on it. I'm gonna take the axle out of it. I'm gonna cut it down and I'm gonna cut the back of this and put a truck bed on the back so I can haul stuff. Oh God, I messed. I really messed my arm up. I pinched a nerve right in my elbow. There, we got some uh, olive drab. I need... I need some stencils. So stencil this in. I need some stencils. So I can put leaves and stuff on it and sticks. I looked for camo paint and I could never find. Of course, when I say I'm going to go shopping somewhere, what I need is never there. Strange, I know. This needs to be a lot darker. Going around the browns. Haze it in. Hopefully I've got a little bit darker green. But yeah, I'm gonna have to cut the rivets off on these, on this right here. I'll take the rivets off, pull it off, clean it up, and then rivet it back on. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't mind having the, um, I could probably, let me show you guys. I got leaves. See, you can do this. You can take leaves, different types of leaves. Ow, that hurts. 
Now I'm gonna get a little brown. Trying not to. I don't want it to pull the paint off, but it's going to, I guess. I'll have to fade it back in later. I'm always in a hurry. Always in a hurry with what I do. I can't stand waiting. That's why I was never good at model cars. Because I didn't want to wait. Never wanted to wait with model cars. I just wanted to do it right then and there. Now, we'll do this. It'll come back through. But it is what it is. If I'd let each coat, if I'd let each coat dry, it'd probably do a lot better. But I'm always in a hurry. I ain't got time to wait. Take we'll paint this like this. We'll give it green. And then we'll come in with the brown. And paint it in. And then we'll paint it. See, the stencils work great. The, uh, well, I know, it's just Redneck, Redneck 101. <laughs> See, you got a little, then you darken it up with some black. Darken it up with a little black. Redneck 101. Yeah, I'm gonna get my buddy stencils. And it'll be a lot better. Can't you tell I'm bored? I would love to be working on something that that is worth doing. Little sticks and little stones. And see, and then you get your your blacks and you can fog it in. Little black here. See, if I would let it dry in between coats. It would be fine. But I don't care. Nature is not perfect. So I don't care about being perfect either. I actually needed this to finish up my boat. Luckily, my buddy Brad, he takes good care of me. It's hard. Um, I was talking to him last week. And when you're a Christian and you hang out with a sinner, you have to be careful because that, I hate to use the word evil when it's a good friend, but the the GD and MF, just the, the constant, I mean, he just goes to the Lord's name in vain a million times a day, and I used to do that too. So it kind of sweats off on you. And I was saying the other day, I said, man, I'm scared of hell. I don't want to go to hell. I want to go to heaven. He's like, well, I'm going to heaven. I said, well, how do you know that? Man, I'm good to everybody. And I said, dude, you don't get into heaven being good to people. No. You can feed every homeless on the planet right now for the rest of your life. And unless you're saved by the blood of Jesus Christ, you're not getting into heaven. I'm sorry, it don't work that way. I wish it did. It'd be a lot easier. That's why I'm so terrified, because I don't want to go to hell. But... If we're not living a godly life that God commands us to live, 
to worship him, not only to worship him, but to spread his gospel, to tell people about Jesus. We're, we're commanded to do that. Um, people don't get it. People don't understand. And that's the scary part. Now we're getting now we're getting somewhere. See, we'll paint grass all over it. The DIY. Is that what you said? Thanks for the DIY. <laughs> don't, don't, don't take anything I do as what you should do. Because it ain't. Do what you want to do, don't worry about what I do, because I'm not good at what I do either. I'm just fogging it in. That ain't bad, is it? That ain't bad. You lay it on there, you can pull some more paint off. Right? But yeah. You're not getting in heaven without the blood of Jesus. And these people say, once they've always said, well, once you said, John, there's no such thing as the sinner's prayer. The sinner's prayer isn't in the Bible. Lord, I say I can't control myself and I can't handle it. And uh, thank you, Lord. I ask you to come in my heart. And then you leave out and you're cussing and ranting and raving. I mean, I cuss and rant and rave when I lose my cool, which is not what we're supposed to do. But um, God commands us. We have to spread his gospel. We're supposed to spread his gospel. And for the people that think you're just going to get into heaven by being a good person, it just, and it's hard. It's hard when I'm getting around my buddy and I want to lose my cool and let my mouth start doing things it ought not be doing. It's, it's scary. It's scary what we do, how we see him. See, now we're now we're doing it out with green. Doing it out with green. See, I can come back in later. Pretty cool, huh? Um, I know it don't look. It ain't great, but it ain't bad either. I'm new at camo. The main thing is, is it gonna be seen in the woods? I don't know. We'll see. Of course, like I said, I could take my time, take my time, let it dry in between coats. But see, it don't look bad. You can really see the leaves in it from the corner, from the side. And um, I don't know. I might just leave that camo, leave the black camo so it don't stick out. I still got to paint. I got all this to paint. I got to take this off, which is going to be a pain in the butt because I figure all those screws are probably rusted in there. Um, but yeah, I need to get all that off. I'm gonna paint all of it. All of it's gonna be camouflaged. The Eclipse will unleash, yeah, you can feel it in there. Yeah, something something don't feel right. It feels like on the movie Ghostbusters where they're waiting on the big, where, where all the pink slime's underneath, the, underneath the, 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 the ground and it's coming forth. I mean, all that's real, ectoplasm, whatever they call it stuff. America's going to be destroyed. My children will not listen. They will not hear me. I'm telling them it's coming. It's coming very, very soon, and everybody's nobody cares. I <laughs> just about cranked. That may be locked in. I don't know. Is it? Is it cranked? 
I had it cranking and I turned the key off. <laughs> uh, that don't look bad, does it? It don't look bad for what it is. And it's got these wide tires on the back. Uh, the front ones are skinny. I was going to put these on the back because they got more tread, but these are skinny compared to the fronts. Um, so I guess I'm, I'm just going to black out the wheels. I'll clean them. I'll take them off, clean them up real good, and I'll paint them green. That don't look bad at all. Uh, -uh. And what I'll do is I'll take my green pad. I'll get my green bag and go back over that and scrub it down and dull it so it's not shiny at all. That looks good. I, th I think that actually looks pretty good, don't you think? I need to get in here and clean all this up again. It was clean. I pressure washed it, but it's got ball joints under it. I need to grease all these fittings. Um, spindle's in good shape. This, like I said, I'd love to put a lift kit underneath it just to get a little bit more ground clearance, but to do that... Oh, man, it, that would be cool if I could swap the spindles upside down. Bring these spindles from up on top and bring them down here. That would give me four more inches. Uh, and then all I have to do is cut this right here off and extend it down and go underneath those. The steering arm is whack that off, weld it in here at the bottom, and then have it going back and forth. Oh, that'd be cool. This thing's even got shocks on it. <laughs> yeah, that looks like a whole bunch of, you know, blah. But I think it'll be all right. Painting myself more than anything. Any other questions, comments? Um, guys, I'm sorry. I'd love to talk to you. I, I can't focus my... It's like, it's like they've got in between... It, whew, cannot focus. That's why I love... If you haven't got magnesium, find a good magnesium, get some magnesium. You need at least a thousand milligrams a day and they've removed magnesium from all of our diets. It's not in our diets anymore. They don't want us to have it because they know that it's, it's how we think. That's what triggers us to think, common sense. Um, that battery right there, it showed it was bad. Dadgummit, this whole time I ain't been, did Mason turn this thing off? It ain't even been charging. As Athena Temple in Nashville is a pagan meeting place. Most theologians believe Nashville is going to get whipped. Well, I'm telling you, when I rode through Tennessee, was it Tennessee or Arkansas that has the big, um, the, um, is it Cabela's? It's got the big pyramid. Is that Cabela's there? Or is that the other um, big hunting and fish store? That's a big pyramid. That's, that's, that's the worship of Set. And we know Set is the devil. Um, spooky? Yeah. Why don't why don't why don't why don't Americans know that? Why are Americans so dumb, so blinded by everything? Because they are blinded by everything. I think the spell of Hollywood is Hollywood is finally wearing off. Thank God. Um, I can't watch. I can't watch movies anymore from Hollywood. I can't do it. Um, I mean, like just I mean an innocent movie like Big with Tom Hanks. I look at him and I know that he is a pedophile, not a doubt in my mind. He is a pedophile. I can watch nothing with Tom Hanks in it. Can't do it. I absolutely refuse. I will not be subject to it. Um, all these evil people, I can't, I just can't. Um, so that's why YouTube is the life for me. Um, I'm not gonna deal with it. I guess I need to paint this wheel while I got it apart, don't I? I guess it don't matter. I'll paint it while it's on there. Um, ow, man, I really messed my arm up big time. That stinks. But, um, it feels like something is, something, I mean, it's going to be soon, guys. I have no doubt but that, that, that we're getting ready to go through hell. We're going to, there's going to be before this, before the, the, um, before this election is stolen again, they're gonna they're gonna have a war. We're already at war. Um, it just depends when Russia and China decides they're gonna they're gonna start. Um, I would love to move to Russia. I wish I could talk my children into moving there right now. It's a beautiful place. They have more they're a moral people. They're godly people. Um, the bad thing about Russia, guess what? Is the Muslims have taken over. 
Uh, the Muslim population is more than the Christians in Russia now. Anywhere Muslims go, they take over. They dominate. Uh, America, when, when you saw the protest from the, Palest the Palestinian protest in support of Hamas, a terrorist organization, that, that should terrify every man, woman, and child. Celebrities are caked with a thick makeup. Probably really took the grip keeper. Well, if you see all the exposure that's happening with P. Diddy, where the FBI raided P. Diddy, Diddy's house, the FBI isn't raiding P. Diddy for, for justice. They're not doing it to stop human trafficking. They're doing it to find out what blackmail he's got on people. Um, they, there's always the FBI. They're corrupt. They are evil. They are no different than the Gestapo of the of the Hitler age. There's no difference between the FBI and the Gestapo. None. All these people in America, they make a Facebook post and... FBI showing up at their door, yet they won't go to houses trafficking actual people. That should be terrifying for every man, woman, and child. It should be, but everybody's just like, oh, no, no, gosh, I pulled. That's bad. I have really messed my elbow up. What, what, what is, what can go bad in your elbow? Cause it's, I, I, I tore, I tore something in my elbow. Oh my gosh. In Jesus name, in Jesus name, in Jesus name. I tore something in my elbow. <laughs> in the name of Jesus, Lord, heal me. Heal me, Lord, please heal me. Heal my elbow, Lord, please. In Jesus name, heal it. Oh. I know a lot of people that were quiet and I appreciate it and they were wondering why would you ever have Greg Locke as your pastor it's just like with Donald Trump we want somebody to speak out we want brave we want bold we want we want somebody to say what we've been thinking and Greg Locke did that now many things have come to light about how evil and corrupt he is um, so I made my I made myself known in many of my talking points from my videos about Greg Locke. Made it to Greg Locke. <laughs> um, but yeah, that he has he's gonna have a reckoning with God. And if he doesn't get it together, I mean his his services are already people have emptied out. They have left him in droves. If you don't if you don't respect the will of God, if you don't do what God tells you to do. God can destroy everything that he built, except he'll let you do it. He'll put the ball in your court to destroy everything. Um, I, I thank God that he has covered me and taken care of me and doing what he promised. I'm a different man than I was. I still got to get my anger under control, but a lot of that's being targeted. A lot of that is um, trauma-based mind control. It's real. And a lot of us suffer from it. And it's hard to say it because it's embarrassing to say, hey, you know, I mean mind controlled. And you tell that to somebody that doesn't understand what that means. Oh, you're crazy. Ain't nobody controlling your mind. It's all you. Well, that's not true. It's not true at all. Uh, but that's why the Bible says capture every thought. Capture every thought that you have. And run it through the checklist to see if it's edifying to God. And that's what we have to do. Yep. Man, I'll tell you, that don't look too bad. Once you get it all back together again. That's what you're going on. I've been an activist against child trafficking for 18 years. They put me through the meat grinder. Yep, they will. They will. There's more child trafficking in the world. The American taxpayers are, are funding all the trafficking happening in America and around the world. It just... It just tries to turn over. It just ain't got quite enough juice. <laughs> that looks pretty good, don't it? That don't look bad. That don't look bad at all. Once I clean that thing and put it back on, and I really, I should have just left it on and painted over it. I'll get all that done tomorrow, I guess. Um, it's amazing the evil in the world, and Americans are just blinded. Oh, nope. nope. Ain't nobody trafficking. Ain't nobody trafficking humans. That ain't happening. You're lying. 
God, I feel so worthless, man. I feel so worthless. Look at the beautiful dogwood. It's my favorite. One of my favorite trees, dogwoods and grape myrtles. This is the North Carolina state tree is the dogwood. This is the Star Tar Heel state. Our state bird is the cardinal. Card dogwoods and cardinals. The cardinals are cool birds. When you when you hunt, you learn about them. They come in right before dark in the, in the evenings. And they... Yeah, my rendition of the cardinal. Um, yeah, I got to paint the wheels. I'll probably just black them out. But I gotta sand all that down, get all that done, and then I'll camo all that stuff too. See, camo hides dents. <laughs> yeah, that'll work. That ain't bad at all. That ain't bad at all. Anyway, I gotta go in here and cook a tender. Well, God bless you. Thank you for being here, Carol. Thank you so much for, for um, I don't know you, know you, but thank you for always giving a kind word, being polite. Um, I wish I could meet all my targeted friends. I understand a lot of people would never do that because they're scared. They're scared. Oh, well, he seems real all these years, but maybe at the last minute he may just freak out and he may be a perp and he wants. It's like that. I don't remember if you guys remember the dude. His name was Sean. He was an older guy in his 60s and he used to come to the channel and he would always, especially on live chats, and I, I got him a bunch of money. I mean, I was donating money to him and we had a misunderstanding because walmart wanted an address and all this other stuff and i tried to, and i asked him for it and he's like walmart don't need an address they don't need it what are you doing and then he just cut me off i give him a bunch of money to help him because he was in a bind and then he, he thought because i asked him for an address well you could have given me a fake address as long as it's the same on the other end but i understand when you're abused so much by the system it's hard to trust people but here's the deal people that don't if you've been on, and Carol, you've been around for a while. You ever caught me in a lie? I mean, I, I don't lie. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't even, I don't even tell half truths. I try to be as honest as I can and I, I pick my words wisely. Um, I'm too freaking stubborn. I've tried to kill myself. I was dead three times and God's like, listen. You can't stop me. You won't die until I say it's your time, so stop trying to kill yourself. And then, for the people that are hope hopeless out there, especially if you've lost your families, your children, and all that's been stolen away, listen, when they took my kids, I was on a mission to kill myself. Any way necessary to kill myself. If it was doing drugs until I OD'd. I did not care. I wanted to die because the worst thing you can do to a father, and well, God says don't call anybody father, but the worst thing you can do to a man is to take his children. That's the, that's the most evil thing to do. And knowing the government will take, will remove a father from a children any chance they get because they know the father is what holds the, is what holds it together. The father is what gives the daughters the wills to say no. The fathers are the ones that trains the daughters to, to know how to be safe. And once they can remove the father from every little girl's life, the girls are twice as easy to traffic, twice as easy to take advantage of. So I thought that I would never see my daughters again. Because the government told my daughters, hey, you know, you get around your dad, he'll kill you, he's dangerous. He'll kill you. He'll, he'll, he'll kill you. He's trying to hunt you down, and we're trying to hide you out from him because he's evil. I don't think you would put yourself through all this for nothing. No. Why would I could put myself for all this through nothing? <laughs> I'll tell you, I would need four of me to go out and fake all the stuff that I do. I'd, I'd need four of me. to. Why would I give up a job with making a quarter million dollars a year to live here in this dump? Why would I do that? What's up, Gorf? God bless you, man. But... I never thought I'd have my children again. Never. And now anytime they need something, they call me and that's, hey, that's a step, right? But they know dad loves them. And here's the hard part that I'm going through now is their mother is finally getting clean and sober. And they're just bragging, oh, mom's doing so well, she's doing so well. And, 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 and I mentioned this the other day, like on YouTube. There's this one big dude, he looks like a leprechaun, red hair, red beard, got tattoos all over him, he's a former prisoner. 
And he's on there, and, and he was like, "Yeah, I'm doing great." And everybody's, you know, worshiping before because he was he he was involved in a lot of armed robberies and doing drugs and doing all this and that and other. But but now, but now, he's clean and sober. I mean, he drinks, of course, but you know, he's got a YouTube channel. And everybody's like, "Oh, great for you!" And I'm thinking, what about us men who didn't fall? What about us men who are destroyed by the U.S. government? What about us men who are targeted? Here's my dove. See, it's my dove. I killed her um, boyfriend last year and ate him, so she's single. <laughs> but what about the guys who never lost it? You know what I mean? Now, everything's stolen from me, and I'm still fighting. Still there. Every day my children pick up the phone, Daddy's there. I got back from the doctor yesterday. They draw blood. Doing, they're trying to run up a bunch of stuff on me. My daughter's like, Dad, can you do this? And I was like, yep, absolutely. Call me. Let's go. Come be at me. Anytime my kids pick up the phone, I'm there for them. I never thought that was going to be possible after they stole my children. Stole them. Get me to hang myself when I'm a single dad raising children on my own. Didn't, wasn't getting a lick of child support. Wouldn't get no help. Nobody would assist me whatsoever. Steal my children the first chance they get. Put her in foster care. Both my children in foster care. Same foster care dad who was molesting the girls, the girl in the family before my kids got there. And if I ever found out that that man laid a hand on my children, wouldn't be much conversation. Wouldn't be much to talk about. So, if you're in a place right now and you're, you've lost all your family, just pray. If you're in a place right now and you're all alone, just pray. Just ask God for peace. Pick up a Bible and start reading. Start in Psalms. Start reading Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. Start reading the words of Jesus. Jesus died on the cross for us. He went through a brutal, brutal torture and execution. Crucifixion, the worst way to be put to death. The worst way. I'm Mr. Negative. I was never supposed to get my kids back. I was never supposed to recover. I was never supposed to, to get back, get myself back. I just started praying for peace. And guess what? Nothing changed. Because at the same time I was praying for peace, I was killing everything with my words. This sucks. It ain't ever going to get better. This, I can't do this. Everything's being destroyed. Just negative, 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 negative. Because the Bible says you have the power of life and death in your tongue. So I was killing everything that God was trying to do for me. I was killing it with my words. The Bible says to thank God even for the bad stuff that happens. So now instead of praying for God to drop the airplanes out of the sky that are stalking me, I think, God, just bless him. I mean, think about these guys that are up in these jets spraying us with toxic chemicals. How can they do that and sleep? I've always wondered that. How can they do that job knowing... It's their children that are being poisoned too. How can they just go up there and just blast away and think nothing about it? it, it it's so backwards to me. <laughs> and, and, and they just, well, yeah, I'm just murdering millions of people. No big deal. No big deal. Don't mind us as we kill the population. What? What? Seriously? <sighs> Here's the butt end of my, my chariot. I'm going to cut this out, this whole fender out here, cut it all along here, and I'm going to set that trailer back in the back here. You say, why don't you pull the trailer? Well, the axle's on the ground, pulling weight. There's more weight pulling instead of it just being riding up. You know what I mean? It's easier to just have it riding than it is to be pulling it. Um, and I got this cut down. But, yeah, it's a, it's a weird world. It's a weird, wacky world. And... Uh, Hope it gets better. Anyway, God bless. I love you. Just pray for peace. Just pray for peace. Just thank God for peace. If you're struggling right now, you're all alone. You're being targeted. The weapons are zapping you. You're, you're, I mean, my, 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 my elbow is done. I can't use this arm, and now I've just whacked out this elbow. I mean, it's... Just pray for peace. Just pray God to give you peace. Read the Bible. Pray for peace. 
stop watching, tw quit listening to that evil music. Qu I mean, Satan is the god of of praise. He's the worship leader in heaven, and God cast him out. He's the worship leader. So he's in charge of the music. He controls the frequency. Satan controls the frequencies. So stop listening to that garbage, because you're you're putting it in your system, and it, it is, it's just as much if you go out and drink gasoline. Gasoline is deadly to you. You're not going to get out anything out of it but bad stuff. So stop putting all this poison in your body. The music is more deadly than drinking actual poison. So listen to something uplifting, something godly, something that will rejuvenate your inside, your inner man. Just try to, to, to be better. If you're not going to let God bless you, then what's the point? Let God bless you for once. Just change the way you say things. Change what you say. Let everything. And I, and I hate this. Listen, I hate positive people. That oh, the sun shines on me 24 hours a day. It's always I'm always happy. Life is great. Uh, the sun is beautiful. I've got to go get my sunglasses. It shines on me even when I go to sleep. Because there's people that never had problems. They've never had an issue. But listen here. Let me tell you this much. The devil will let people have wonderful lives so they will coast their way straight to hell. Did you hear me? The devil, because these people have never been challenged, they've never had a speed bump in their life, they've never had to climb a mountain, they've never had to struggle, so they don't need God. My life is great. I don't need God. I'm a good person. I don't need your, your, your sky your sky fairy so the devil will allow these people to get through life easy peasy and then when they stand before God God's like what's up you had it made then but now's the time when it counts and you never ask for me so I'm not telling you that God makes bad things happen to you I'm telling you that God will stand back and take away his covering and allow the devil to do what he wants just like he did with Job. He said, you can do anything you want to Job, just don't kill him. What if we're in another timeline now and I'm that Job? Because everything that happened to Job in the Bible has happened to me. Except I ain't, I ain't never had a vast kingdom, but I had everything I wanted. I had my kingdom. What happens if, we're, if they're going to write another Bible about us? I'm not worthy, but... Paul, in the Bible, hunted Christians down and slaughtered them. I didn't do that. And Paul wrote 12 books of the Bible, so of course, I, I, I'm pretty sure he's going to be in heaven. But, um, you know, if, you, if, you're, if you're struggling and you're a targeted individual, thank God, thank God that you're struggling. Thank God for every bit of hell you're going through. Thank God for it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that when I get up tomorrow morning, that... No matter what, you're still king. Thank God when I get up tomorrow morning, you're still Lord. No matter what, when I get up tomorrow, Satan is going to be defeated in my life. No matter what happens, if the world burns down tomorrow, you're still God above all. Thank God in the worst tragedies of your life. Thank God. God don't need no angels. God didn't take God didn't, God didn't take your grandpa because he's mad at you. No, God don't need nothing like that. God needs your praise. We are commanded to worship and praise Him. So if you don't have anything to praise God for, you're breathing. He didn't have to give you life. God didn't have to do anything for you. It's like in people, well, I didn't ask to be born. Well, no, you didn't, but you're here. And I always thought I'm worthless. I, I want to die. If, if God loved me, he wouldn't put me in this hell. God loves me, and he put me through the fire because what? Because fire strengthens. Steel sharpens steel. So if you're in a fire right now, if you're going through that hell in life, it's because God is preparing you for what's to come. God's getting you ready because it's going to get tough. America is getting ready to find out. If we don't get completely wiped off the map, the lights are going to go out. This may be the only thing I got to get away on. <laughs> God bless. I love you guys. See you.